<sighs> Good morning, y'all. <clears throat> I woke up with something on my head, and I was really thinking about it. Um, it's going to be about you women. Stop trying to... Stop trying to have a man love you when you don't love yourself. Like, stop. Like, stop doing that. You know what I mean? Like, you want a man to love you. You don't love yourself. You want him to love your, your scars, your wounds, your ugliness, your insecurities, your constant validations. Things that you haven't even accepted yourself. You want a man to get you these things, the fine things in life. And all these things that you can't afford yourself. And if a man doesn't do it, then he's not a man. You know, he never really cared. He never this, he never... You can't be like that. You know what I mean? And I know some of you guys probably been through a lot in life, but... But you gotta, you gotta get over it, yo. You got to. I know it's hard. And like I said, I don't know what none of you guys been through. I don't know what none of you guys had to go through, but... You can't sit there and just and just beat yourself up over and over and over again, you know, because this man leaves or this man chooses not to stay. How can you ask a man to love you for things that you don't love about yourself? How can you ask a man to love you when you do not love yourself? You have to love yourself above all else because you have to know when the situation is toxic, when the situation is good, when you need to leave, when you need to stay, when you need to fight harder. You can't put that on somebody else. And this goes for men too, but... But I know a lot of women that do this. You have to stop putting yourself in a predicament where, oh my God, this man doesn't want to be here because, because I don't make him happy. Are you happy yourself? Like you have to be happy yourself. You can't ask a person to make you happy and then when they don't do things that you don't like, you're upset with them, they're moving funny, they're doing this, they're doing... Bro, you're moving funny with your life. You have full control to change everything. You have full control to, to change everything in your life and you're choosing not to. Like how long have you needed this constant validation? How have you tried to fix it? How have you tried to fix your life? How have you made yourself presentable in a way that will make you more of a wife, more of something likable? What have you done? Rather than, you know, point the finger. At some point you got to stop pointing the finger. You're going to look up three, five, seven years from now and be like, you know, you're still alone. You're gonna be in situationships for so long. It's gonna make you think that you're undervalued because all you're doing is taking bits and pieces from everybody else, and it still hasn't put yourself together. I know before, like I used to do it. You know, I was uh, in a situation where, you know, I would talk to a bunch of girls, and they all offered different things, and combine them together, and made the perfect girl. But there was a certain point where that's not the life I wanted to live. You know, gradually got off of it, but I can't feel sorry for someone that doesn't love themselves and then tries to put their pain on me as if I'm the one that causes it. Like, no, I see deeper than what you're trying to show me. I understand what the real big picture is, but if you're not happy with your life, how can I make you happy? I'm basically beating a dead horse. I'm on a Ferris wheel thinking that I'm going far and all I'm doing is moving. You can be moving your whole life and not be going nowhere. Make sure that when you're moving, it's progressively doing something for your life. What about you are you happy with? What about you do you do you love about yourself? If you just now loving how you look and you just now loving how you feel and stuff like that, I mean, the process is going. But I don't think you should be in a relationship or love a man or try to find someone if you if if you can't offer that yourself. Two people should be happy separately. And when they come together, they should be happy as one. It should not be one person is happy, one person is unhappy because they're lonely, daddy issue about. Then they come into a relationship and then they put all of that problem on the other person. Because the person could take on those problems. The person could could commend some things together, but at the time of anything being wrong, or arguments, stuff like that, those insecurities from that person that's lacking, will always come out. You don't you don't want to be in that predicament. Because then when you go back and tell a person like, hey, I've done this for you, I've done this for you, I'm here for you, I've done this for you, I've done this for you, <coughs> they'll take it as, why are you throwing things in my face? It's not, um... <coughs> 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 
Ooh. <coughs> it's not I'm throwing things in your face. It's I'm reminding you of what I've been here with you through. It's me reminding you that I've stuck it out through things that other people would not have stuck it out through. I've taken you to a higher level than other men would have taken you. You can't make me feel bad that I choose not to put my all into a situation when I don't even see you putting your all into your own life. How do you want me to to put my foot down and, and love and care and this and that when you don't? How do you think that occasional sex, nice morning texts, is love? How is love to you, you know, when people get into arguments, you know, when they shouldn't get into arguments because that's not love. That's not true. Love is something you have to push through. You have to fight for. You get the better things in life, you get the worst things in life. But love, love grows forever. You know, so, I mean, I just think that women have to stop, stop bandaging up these wounds and covering them with band-aids and actually really tend to them. You know, really, really, really get to the wound. Really, really nourish the wound. Really take care of it. You know, clean it out with alcohol. That that can be uh, looked at as prayer. You know, um, self-reflection. You know, looking at yourself in the mirror, telling yourself that you, you matter. You know, clean it out with, with gauze or, you know, napkins. And, you know, that could be, you know, putting yourself around the right circle. You know, putting yourself around people that actually want to see you grow, actually want to see you succeed. You know, uh, you can flush it out. Flush it out, that could be the water. Um, with that being said, it's like, you know, you cleanse yourself of all this negativity, all the bad friends, all the, all the people around you that doesn't allow you to be who you can be at the best of your ability. All of these things. They last but not least, then you bandage it up. Throw a little God on it. Throw a little consistency on it. Throw belief on it. Now you took care of this wound. This is a wound you don't have to check in on. You know you put the right things in it, so the best things will come from it. You put in what you get out. You know what I mean? So it's like, make sure, make sure you're, you're, you're doing your best for yourself. You know? Stop trying to put this on other people. You can't put it on, you can only do it but so long. Oh, the reason why I'm like this is my mother didn't love me. My daddy wasn't there. My mother was hard on me. My first boyfriend abused me. This and that. This. You guys got to get over it. You guys are queens. I don't know. That's what I woke up with my head today. Stop trying to find somebody to love you and love yourself first. Because what you realize, nobody can love you like you love you. Then you allow God into your life. You allow God into your life. You allow all of this positivity. It's just gonna drip off of you. Take your pictures for the gram. Make yourself look good in a photo. Just for those double tap likes. Just to get those comments. <laughs> Don't make that your life. Be more than that. Or you're going to die knowing that you never really actually lived. Ugh. Let me get up and go be great. Make sure you do the same. Like, comment, subscribe, dislike. Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy Royalty. Over and out.